Yeah, Harvey. So, so Harvey here, who will be uh, the treasurer beginning early next month. Just technical technical question um, for the minutes. How how should I describe Veronica since it sounds like she's not official yet? Or um, should I just say the new treasurer? The, the new treasurer um, met the board. Um, so no, I mean who's attending. So I usually say like town treasurer. Should I say town treasurer? Or I would say uh, yes. The future's of a treasurer. Future Veronica. There we go. She's, she has accepted an offer to the town. Uh, you don't have to put all that in. Yeah, no, no. I, no. I'm just trying to give her the right title. Right, right, yeah. Yeah. Who's here? So technically today I'm I'm observing. Yes. So to prepare for my next <laughs> commissioner's meeting. And Harvey is H A R V E Y. Correct. And I want to entertain a motion to accept the meeting note from last uh, from my last meeting uh, as read. I'll make a motion to accept the minutes. A second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Mm -hmm. Mr. Um, Chair, if I could indulge the committee to take uh, uh, agenda item number five out of order uh, in terms of scheduling your future meeting for um, so that uh, you can find out if uh, Veronica has any conflicts with days that you we want to spend. We would be happy to do that. Well, let us look towards the uh, February meeting. Uh, the important dates in February are the 20th, which is a Monday, is the president's birthday. Um, uh, Ash Wednesday is the 22nd. That's not important. You can have it that day. There are no other significant dates to worry about unless one is concerned about St. Valentine's Day, which is the 14th and a Tuesday. Uh, <clears throat> school vacation week. I will hopefully not be here. That's the 19th. The uh, 19th. That's that week. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. So then should we go to the week of the 12th? That's fine. I just uh, want to note that I'm going to be in Florida for the month, so I'm going to have to do it remotely. Okay, that's fine. All right. We can deal with that. Um, the week of the 12th. Uh, 16th. 15th is a Wednesday. We can do it at 4 o'clock on the 15th. Could we do the 16th Thursday? Thursday is our... Oh, Mondays, Thursdays are better. Okay, let's do Thursday the fourth. That's the fourth. Well, Tuesdays are actually better for me, unfortunately. I know this is going to be fun to try and. Does Tuesday work for you? Uh, this. Yeah. I can do it. Um, I'll, I will be in Boston that day, so I'll make my way out. Actually, you need me at the select board at Tuesday no, at six o'clock. I just remembered. Yeah, I hadn't had a chance to put that in my calendar yet. So, should we go back to the 16th? I we don't typically go 90 minutes. Okay. The right. other possibility is just to have the meetings uh, uh, I think I was thinking the week after uh, school vacation. Mm -hmm. Well, let me ask what time typically do they do we meet? Typically at four o'clock. Okay. Four minutes and four thirty. Okay. 30. okay. 30. So uh, I think I could do the 16th, about 4.30. 16th, 16th. <clears throat> we'll get a March and an April meeting in there too, just given people's calendars. You want to do March and then April? That's fine. March, so uh, maybe the week of the no one April days. We're looking at Thursdays again, or we're looking at Tuesdays. Thursdays in general are a lot easier for me. Hey, I know you've got a little mute. Yeah, no, I don't. Uh, it doesn't matter to me. Tuesdays are Thursdays the 16th. It looks pretty good to me. Can uh, we do it the following week? Can we do it the week of the 20th? Yes, the 23rd. Is it Thursday? 23rd, yes. Can I tentatively put these in and then let you get them from and know for sure? Sure. sure. And then we get into April, March. No, 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 you're in April. Yeah. 
think it's school vacation week, the 17th, the week of the 17th. And I'll, I'll be on that week. So, we'll go on that so week. maybe the week of the 24th. The week of the 24th, I'll go 13th. The week of the 9th, yeah. Um, so those Thursdays, I yeah. can't do one, unfortunately. Would we be able to do Tuesdays in, in those weeks, any of those weeks? Uh, that week, uh, that week, no, that's the town election. Okay. So there can't be any meetings. Yeah. The week of the 16th? Uh, the, the, the week of the 10th. Uh, Dan already said he's away for the week of 16th. The election is the 11th. Yep. Will we, um, so the last week of April? So we could do it on the 25th of April. Does that work for you, Dan, on a Tuesday? Is that still an issue for the election? No, that is just, Different that, week, yeah. it's just that one day. That's okay. an issue. Yeah, I mean, I can, on a given week, I can do it. It's just okay. harder, but I, I'm happy to work with it. If we so did the point. meeting earlier, would that help yes. you? Yes, yeah. We could do it at four, right? Yeah. On Thursday? Is that, would you rather do it at four on Thursday or Tuesday? Four on Thursday would work well, yes. I could do that. Yeah. Sure. So is that the 27, 4 p.m.? Are we doing all of them at 4 o'clock? The other two uh, is at 4 30. Yeah, the other two are at 4 30. Okay. That's okay. Okay. So that would be February 16th at 4 30, March 23rd at 4 30, and April 27th at 4 p.m. And I'll send out to just get it in the electronic calendars and I'll book invite. Right. And, uh, with, and, the, with the Zoom link. As yeah, well. with you. Yes, the free Zoom link. And we're going to go to the review and the approval of the invoices. So, Chair, we have four batches for, uh, for your consideration and, and approval. Um, Three uh, relate to the library, and one relates to the, uh, the community revitalization trial. So, there you go, Chair. And um, there's the 19th. It is. And if you had each to see the packet, a uh, uh, motion to accept. Presuming you're agreeable to accept uh, payment for the invoices. Amazes the library doesn't run out of space for all the things that they can purchase. <laughs> well, they also, very digital. They also, uh, yeah, that's true, digital. But the other thing is they also remove uh, yeah. old inventory. And they have their book sale every like other month where they clear out yeah. of books. In the spring. In one in the fall. Oh, it seemed like it was more often. That means the years are going by fast. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. So, Dave, on this one, um, the top two pages seem to go together, and it seems like they're signed for that. This third page has a whole bunch of other stuff. And, you know, I didn't sign it. Oh, that's the packing slip, uh, which there were multiple invoices, which. Uh, Wait for signing off, and then just attach the packing slip for everything to one. Okay. So that's not good. Are we required proof of uh, that's uh, 
proof that merchandise was received in order for accounting to uh, uh, process the payment. Are you going to pass on the trust fund balance report for the It's not. Some utopian version of the future. I would love this to be a digital process without long. Account numbers handwritten out on pieces of paper and staple packages of paper and all I actually can I see one of those? Sure. Thank you. Yeah. It would be appropriate at this time for a motion to approve the payment of the bills. I'll make a motion to approve payment of the bills, which we have. I second. All those in favor say aye. 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 The ayes have it. Bills have been approved. Thank you. So the uh, remaining uh, agenda item is uh, procurement, which the accelerated to um, whether they. Uh, commission would like to do a second attempt at uh, I mean, testing the market for advisory services. Yes, well, last time we talked about an RFI, I think is what we called it. Yeah, in request for information. information. Um, begin with. So I don't. If if we do want to do this again, I would say we do it that way, yeah. <clears throat> so that people won't be intimidated by what they have to do to show interest. How do we, we, do we want to do we want to do it again? Uh, in similar in terms of the scope of services, I would uh, send it back to Paul for comments uh, in case of, as a result of the process we went through. If there are things that you want to tweak or change, of course, you just uh, reviewed your investment policy statement again. So um, as a result, that may make some changes to the wording. Once I have that, then I can put together the package um, for um, distribution. So I would um, suggest that we look at perhaps a release of the request for information in March. Okay. It gives a little time for you to collect your thoughts on, on the, the consumption of everything. And then uh, with, uh, with the idea of perhaps having folks uh, coming to the board uh, on the 27th of April. Okay, let's do that. When you say come to the board, you mean submit information I mean, and we now for, for presentations and discussion. Uh, you would receive the material a week in advance to prepare for the interviews, but I'm certain that you'd like to. So do we have to see everybody that submits an RFI? No, that's not the exact same process. Okay. So, so set the deadline for the RFI. Uh, well, on the 23rd, we make the determination. Was, uh, we'd be looking maybe a three week window. I mean, we clearly saw that folks can, if, if they're interested, are able to respond. Sure. How do we go? Suppose someone submits information under this RFI. How do we move from that 
process to potentially hiring them? Do they then have to do an RF? At that point, you will have information. We'll know uh, based upon the responses what are the parameters of the service so we can execute a uh, contract with them. So we don't have to do an RFP after an RFP? Well, it depends what the results that we find from the RFI in mm -hmm. terms of uh, comp the compensation level will dictate the, the form of the final procurement, whether we can just award or whether we have to go back out and to bring in yet another word, an IFP, an <laughs> invitation for bid. Okay. Instead of an RFP? Instead of an RFP, yes. Okay. In an IF request for information, uh, uh, RFP is request for proposals right. to the seal thing, which you're not allowed to know price until you've gone through the entire process and ranked the firms and on technical and experience uh, criteria. Uh, a um, request for information is basically people introduce themselves, provide information, and provide their pricing structures. And all that, and we can make a determination in terms of cost and determine what would be the um, the pricing threshold that they would fall under. And if the pricing threshold is not high, then we can do what's known as the uh, request for bid, which is basically you've indicated exactly what needs to be provided. And they just submit a bid, basically what their their charge fee will be for the exact services that you've outlaid. Uh, to be uh, provided. Okay. So, you're are you going to do a draft of the RFI? I, I, yes. So uh, first, I'll send back the original scope of services that you all have to craft with Evelyn, so that you can update uh, each of you with your comments to me individually. Okay. And then I'll put together a complete package, a draft package. Which then I would submit out to you all for uh, for your review and, and and on the basically on the twenty third you'll be saying at the meeting yay let's go forward or or let's let's do do, do some more work on it. Okay. Could I request a copy of the original scope just so that I'm brought up to speed on the project? Yeah, we'll, we'll do that very quickly. Okay. Yeah. Any other subjects that commissioners would like to bring up? Uh, there's an individual that would like to speak. May I, yes. may I just ask a question? So the last time that I was able to join all of you, which was a number of months ago, you were in the process, I think, of um, considering uh, putting out an RFP. Did something come of that, or is Rockland Trust still the investment advisory? I, I just was wondering um, what happened with that process. Um, we did put out an RFP, and we did have one submission. We interviewed that particular uh, organization, and the commissioners decided that they were not a good fit for the medium uh, trust funds. And so uh, we did not hire them. So Rockland is still the so yeah, Rockland continues to manage the money at this time. Okay, that brings me up to date. Thank you. Okay, will you be able to make our next meeting, or do you know? <laughs> um, I I will absolutely be able to make it. <laughs> I think that uh, completes the. Uh, meeting today and I will entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Seven. Five. Five. That's how simple some of the meetings are. <laughs> <laughs>